G'day YouTube, down to Bricks here, and I've got a chunky haul for you folks today. I think I said in my last haul video that my hauls would be slowing down a little bit. Well, I thought I'd go out with a bang for 2018. It's not to say that this will be my last haul of the year, because I'm sure to pick something else up, but I don't think I'm going to have another big haul like this, a big wad of sets to share with you guys and this is pretty exciting we've got Star Wars Superhero City and more so let's start ripping into them Woo how exciting now this is all big W lay buys so where let's let's go here we'll start with this one <laughs> gotta love this let's start ripping in okay so Dub doesn't know Harry Potter or Fantastic Beasts, but I know a good set when I see it. And I'll tell you what, that spider is cool. So, looking forward to putting that spider with my ant from the Ant-Man set. I think that will be fantastic together. So that's the reason I picked that up. And this one here, what's this one? Grindelwald's Escape. This is just a fantastic carriage have a look at that carriage and whatever you call that thing pulling the carriage that looks pretty cool too but yeah pretty excited for both those only little sets but we're off with a bang and here we go Star Wars Anakin's Starfighter so I was looking forward to this one and I've got to say with the Star Wars I thought this was an excellent wave, the latest wave of Star Wars. I've only built the X-Wing, and I absolutely love that X-Wing. So I've got high hopes for the rest of the Star Wars set. So there we go with Anakin's fighter. Uh, where am I? How am I going to do this? Let's just make a bit more room, mate. All right. Superheroes. Let's just pull them out as they come. This one is Batman, the Attack of the Talons. And that looks pretty cool. I like this this Batman all armoured up. And the talons, that is pretty cool. Not sure about the little trike thingy. But who knows, I'm going to give it a build and find out anyway. <laughs> and whoo -hoo, look at this. I was looking forward to this one. And I just showed off my UCS collection and showed that I actually built the UCS sand crawler. Well, now I've got this beast here so the mini version of the UCS <laughs> sand crawler can we see it I'm not sure if we can see it is it there somewhere is that it there where's my finger pointing I think we can see it there's the old sand crawler and now we've got this new one so sorry I'm just having a look here I better show you guys <laughs> so let's have a look at the back so I got this for a great price. I think it was something like 30% off retail. So super happy with that. And yeah, great mini figs. Looking good. Can't wait to get stuck into that. After I just built the sand crawl, I should be a bit of a old hat at this one now, shouldn't I? Oh, let's just stack that there. Where are we gonna go? Let's let's keep going with this one, shall we? Couple more big sets in this bag. Kind of like Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> All right, We've got plastic going everywhere. We're going to stick with Star Wars, and we got the Imperial AT hauler. I got to say, I'm really excited for this set. I love the Solo movie, and I reckon this is going to be a great build. It's very unique. It's a, a nice printed. Windscreen piece there, a canopy piece. But yeah, super excited to be building this one. Check it out from the back there. We get a heap of minifigs. Don't know how many pieces this is, but it's a pretty chunky set. So, rocking on with the Star Wars. Oh, that's going to fall off the table. Don't fall off. Stay. <laughs> stay, boy, stay. All right, and now we're going to get in to a bit of city action with this Arctic set. 
big fan of the last wave of Arctic sets. Actually, my wife really wanted all of the Arctic sets, and she got them and built them all. We've got them packed away at the moment, but um, we were going to give this one a miss. We did get the plane with the saber tooth tiger because I wanted the saber tooth, and the same with this. I want this woolly mammoth, and I think I paid a hundred and three bucks for this. And at the time, these woolly mammoths were going for like fifty, sixty dollars Australian just to get the mammoth. So to pay another forty bucks to get the whole set, I'm not going to say no to that. So it looks great. Looks like a lot of fun. I'm sure Mini Dub will have a bit of fun with this one too. So we're going to have to get that built just to get the woolly mammoth out. So let's, uh, how are we going to do this? Let's start swapping stuff over here. Uh, there we go. Do it like this. Come on. Hey, stretch. Oh, crikey. There we go. Getting into it. Put that over there. And let's. Keep going, shall we? Where's my knife? Let's cut in. Come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. <laughs> More superheroes. So what's this one? This is Batman's Brother Eye Takedown. And let me just have a bit of look at this. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Some very nice minifigures. The Batwoman looks very cool. Can we get that? Uh, can't stretch any closer. And we've got a neat little bat wing there. So that looks pretty cool. So I'll have to rip in and get that built. Couple more sets for the DC shelf. And here we go. So this is, looks like the last Star Wars set. And this is Snoke's throne room. Was really looking forward to this set too. So. I'm just going to have to try and get in and get all this Star Wars built. Oh, my backlog is just getting out of control. <laughs> but I'm going to try and get these ones built pretty soon. Look at these guards. How cool do they look? Absolutely fantastic with this new skirt piece, this new dress piece. Very, very cool. So, how am I going with Star Wars from this now, from this latest wave? There's a couple I haven't got. The Hoth one, the Medical Chamber set, I haven't got that one. And of course, the Imperial Landing Craft, the one I want the most. I still haven't got it yet. I am going to have to get it from Lego. So, that will be coming sometime this year. I'm just kind of waiting for a good promo. So I'm hoping maybe double VIP points or something might come along soon. And I'm going to snag that bad boy straight away. Hasn't come into Australia. I believe it may have been a Toys R Us exclusive. And of course there's no more Toys R Us. Well, have you heard the news about that? They might be making a comeback. But um, yeah, no more Toys R Us in Australia. So no Imperial Landing Craft. But I'm desperate to get that one. And this one, I'm just going to have to be a little bit quiet. Mini dubs in there, and I don't want him to know about this. <laughs> this is, of course, well, you can see what it is. It's a city train, and I've grabbed this because I'm going to give it to him for Christmas. So I think he's going to be pretty excited to build his own train and be able to have his own train on the city. I mean, that sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? So he's one lucky little boy, and uh, I'm actually pretty excited to build this along with him, give him a bit of a hand, but pretty cool train. I was actually going to give the trains a miss because as you know from my last haul, I did get the Hogwarts Express. I was really looking forward to that train, so I was going to give the city trains a miss. Saw this just, it was such a great deal in a big W sale. I could not pass it up and I thought what an awesome gift for Mini Dub. And I'm sure he's gonna love that. So, just gonna stick that over there. Oh, crikey, it's stacking up. And we got one more parcel to go. Woohoo! Pretty awesome. Let's just get into this now. When I was doing all my hunt videos, 
and I was talking about all the new sets that are out and all the awesome sales that were out. I've put up a few cards there and you might be able to go and have a look at those hunt videos if you're interested. And I was putting a lot of stuff on lay-by. The question was, will I get the Harry Potter sets? Big W had them for such a fantastic price. And it was one of those things, well, I've got all this stuff. Will I get the Harry Potter sets? Well, yes, of course I'll get the Harry Potter sets. So here we go. Got this one here. So I didn't get all the sets, but I wanted these two because I think they do look fantastic. This is the Whomping Willow, Hogwarts Whomping Willow. And I just love it because you can actually put it, well, you already know, don't you? You already know you can put it alongside this. Hogwarts Great Hall, where we got the little picky, there we go, on the back there, can you see it there, you join the two up, and I think that looks pretty cool, I was actually tempted to grab two of these, and I know a lot of people have been doing that, building a, a full, um, full Great Hall, there's some really good guys doing some mocks of that at the moment, I've been really enjoying some of those videos that are getting put out. And if I think of it, I'll put some cards up of those too, and you can go and check those awesome guys out. But yeah, just decided with everything that I was buying, I couldn't really afford to get two of them. But I'm just happy to have this, these two anyway that I can join up, put them on display. Got to find another little corner somewhere in the Lego room to put some Harry Potter sets. So pretty excited about that. Very excited about the Star Wars and what else? Oh, all of it. Oh, all excited for the whole lot. So let's get it all stacked up so we can have one final gander at it. Well, holy dooly and crikey Charlie, that's not a stack of sets, that's a wall of sets. It just makes me feel like diving through them. But that's a whole stack of fun right there. What I've been thinking about doing, and don't forget you can find me on Instagram, I've been thinking about as I build a set for my backlog, is to actually just take a picky, put it up on Instagram, give it a bit of a rating, maybe a few of my thoughts on the set. So let me know what you think about that idea, or would you rather see me do something here on YouTube? I've kind of pretty much slowed down on reviewing sets because I just can't keep up with these big guys with the sets. So. I'm going to continue to do comparison reviews, but as for one-on-ones, I think I'm probably just going to ease back on that, as I already have. But anyway, let me know your thoughts about all that down in the comments. I love hearing from you. Love having a bit of a chat. Let me know what you really love about this wall of sets here. What's your pick? What's your favorite set here? What have you got recently? I'd love to hear that as well. And what have you really enjoyed building of late? Put it all in the comments. Let's have a chat. Everyone else would love to hear all that from you as well. Don't forget, you give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, that is. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe and share the video. Show some love. That would be awesome. A big thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.